We're going to download, install, and install a free software package from J Software named J. And you can see here I've gone to the uh, main web page and I've already clicked on this download option. Now I'm going to select the Mac Power PC there because that's the kind of computer I have. And the, the download should begin shortly. I want to use that default disk image mounter application and the application has begun to download. You can see it's available uh, on several different applications and they work almost identically on all, all of them. Okay, the download is finished and now we should start mounting and that sort of thing. Yes. Now the application is going to come up in a mounted uh, disk drive and what we are going to need to do is move that uh, the application, there it is, uh, from the folder where it is to the home directory which in this case is Joan Shot. So I'll drag the um, application folder, the entire folder, over here to my home directory and that will take a few seconds to uh, copy. And then we'll go look at that folder in the home directory. And you'll see that there's two uh, applications in there. One is J itself, which is a red J icon. And that's the one, the most important one that we'll be get. Here it is. I'll click on the, the application. There's, and the folder has been placed in the, in that directory. And now here's the red J icon. That's the one that I normally use to launch J, but I'm going to bring it over here to my dock because I prefer to uh, launch programs from there. And I'm also going to take the yellow J, which is uh, available uh, in case something uh, won't stop, we can make it break. And now I'm going to launch J by clicking on that red J in the uh, dock and in, in, after a few moments of Java initializing hopefully J will start right up. When it does I'm going to try to uh, type in a, a quick uh, bit of code to show you that J really works. First we'll see a splash screen with a lot of information on it that you can use later to learn more about J. But for right now I'm going to uh, exit in directly to J and type in the code I'm interested in. Okay, I've typed this in and you can see that it's a uh, command that uh, creates two rows of five numbers each and the question mark there says make them random numbers and the 20 says give me numbers between 0 and 19 and then I've assigned them to the variable named ran. And now I'm going to load um, the plot routine which comes uh, uh, in J automatically and plot this uh, set of data. Uh, it's very simple but it'll give you an idea of what the plot looks like. You can see just two rows, two uh, colors uh, of numbers and uh, we can doll this up any way you like with put all kinds of legends on it in uh, text information we can resize the screen we can um, but for now I'm just going to close it and I'm also going to quit from J I'm going to go to the J application and say quit J and click yes now what I want to do is go to uh, back here to the file folder and there's a new folder that you have not seen before that was created by J automatically when it first launched. And why this is important is that a lot of the things that you create while you're in J get stored here. So for example any configuration you get, get gets stored there. Any lab work that you do the results to, to learn J the, the results will be stored there if you create any projects they'll be stored there and any odd scripts that you create if you don't say where specifically you want them to go they'll be saved here in the temp file so that's a good place to remember to look for things well, that's all for now now we're just going to have fun 
um, later on with Jay.